Oh boy, I got it, I got it. Let me get it. I got it. Man. You guys don't ever get me a chance. Alright, let's go ahead and get this play card, everybody. Uh, stinks to high heaven in here. I fought it. Hello everybody, welcome to Crafting Chills Gaming. I am your host, Helsinki. Welcome back to the Walking Dead State of Decay. Hello. I'm trying to reach anyone else living in this town. You don't know us, but we're looking to be helpful neighbors. It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Hey, I need your help on this. Come on, Glenn, let's go. You. Let's check their inventory real quick, make sure yes. we're all free of everything. And then we're gonna go meet these people. Let's go meet this hooker. I mean hook. Whatever her name is. Who will probably soon be coming. Laura. Alright, so we got Daryl Dixon and Glenn on their way here. Heading out towards these other strange people. We don't know who they are yet. But. We can only imagine who they might be. I see. I might be going the wrong way here. Okay, yes. Yeah, just over there. Okay. Uh, if I could just walk there. Yeah, it was right there. Jesus. Let's back up. Let's leave our car right here. Come on, Glenn, let's go. Let's go save these people. We're the walking dead. People as as you all know. Be extra careful. We've got a plague zombie nearby. I see it. Thank you, Glenn. One chop and a flop. The air tastes like blood. Fucking plague zombies. Well, I thought it was taking, tasting like shit. But I guess blood's a good, okay to say, too. So we I got over here. That taste before. Oh, a bunch of zombies over here. Come on. He's red. These deadheads. Nice. Uh -uh. Actually, they're called redheads. Got a zombie coming at us. <laughs> I get them dead heads, those red heads. Oh, nice shot, whoever that was. Let me take a shot. Oh, he died. Now, hold on, I gotta do that properly now. He died. He's dead too. Daryl Dixon, our resident. What's going on here? Thanks. I mean it. Oh. We're seeing a lot more plague zeds lately. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. Is it a plague heart? Well. Oh, you're hooked. Okay. I'm sorry to ask a favor so soon, but our food supply is spoiled. Do you have any extra? I'll see what I can do. We you really mind, appreciate that. You mind if I call you? TJ Hooker. Our uh, neighbors are in a tough for spot. short. Their food supply is empty. Of course, our supply isn't much better off. It seems to me like scavenging for more is the best plan. Can't get them with their heads turned away from us. What I was saying earlier, earlier was Daryl Dixon, our <laughs> residence. <laughs> Crossbow expert. Alright, so we're coming up on this little convenience store here. We better find something in here for these people. Get them some food or something. What's she doing? My crossbow bag. Come on, Glenn, let's go. So we got in here. We can do this. No worries. Talking like that. 
And we'll see just how long you last. Oh, jeez. We know how long Glenn lasted. It was a five seasons. Would you look at that. This I've, food should be enough to keep our neighbors happy. I found food. We should be able to keep Hooker happy or TJ Hooker. Not bad. I mean, not great either. Let's see what we got in here. Anything of interest? Oh, well, that's pretty lame. Goodness gracious, they, this place has been cleaned out. Germany, Christmas. We got here. Oh, jeez. Nothing of interest. Let's go, Glenn. We gotta get back and save these people. Do whatever, do whatever, whatever we can to make them part of our group. Whatever are we gonna find up here? Are they still gonna be alive? I don't know. Let's, let's go sneaky tricky. And he's dead. Let's go find our hooker girl. Where'd she go? Is she outside? No, she's inside. Oh, there she is. Hey, TJ Hooker. If we can't find more food soon, we could be in real trouble. Well, I got a present for you. Here you go. Thanks. You really came through for us. I oh. guess we owe you one. I guess, no problem. I guess you do. I'm not going to say Good what you owe me there right are now. Other people who'll stand with us. If we work at it, we could build a society out here that actually lasts. Let's rebuild this great nation of ours. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. One, one bolt at a time, I suppose. Here comes... Oh, I missed him. Daryl Dix is not as good as I thought. God, God dang it, Lynn got right in the way. I almost killed you. Alright. Plague samples. Yes, we need all that we can get. Let me take another shot at this one over here. A little high. I mean, he died. Uh, I don't see any plague samples. a bunch of them over here. Let's take them out. Oh, right over his head. There he go. Coming to investigate. And now you can depreciate and turn into dust, my friend. I think you should know him back in the day. He dead now. I'm supposing she lost her head. Need to get back. Well, I love the crossbow. Come on, Glenn, let's get back. We will. I'm not sure about relying on these folks for backup, but they might have stuff to trade. I'm worried about relying on people who are basically strangers. I think we could build whatever we need right here in our own base. We got a brand new batch of bombs, ready to use. Now, let's go blow the shit out of that plague heart. We're gonna blow the shit out of this Play hot out there, guys. Come on. Come on, Glenn. We have to go finish this mission.
Walking Dead to the rescue. Let's go talk to Hooker or Laura or whatever the case he might be here in a few minutes. You go, boy. You go, boy. Hey. Let me get a shot in every now and then, okay? I'm not here just to watch you. Let's go talk to TJ Hooker. Hello. I hope the Plague Zeds haven't given you too much trouble. Oh, no. Nah. I expect we both agree that taking out that plague heart would be good for our town. Very I was hoping nice. you'd ask. Thanks. Feels good to work together on this. Come on now, girl. Let's get in this vehicle. Come on, Glenn. We're about to f*** some shit up right now. Oh, I shouldn't say that kind of word. I'm trying to clean up my... My image just a little bit. Oh. Shake the damn thing off! I'm trying to shake it. Shake it more than three times though, it's dangerous. We're getting close. You can tell by the red haze. The plague sets, of course. Alright, let's get out of here and take right. take care of this. He's, oh boy. I got it. I got it. Let me get it. I got it. Man. Guys don't ever get me a chance. Alright, let's go ahead and get this plague heart, everybody. Uh, it stinks to high heaven in here. I fought it. Right, here it is. How close can we be? I, I forget now. Uh. Fire in the hole! Oh, shit. I don't think it should be that close. Let's get back a little bit. How about, how about right here? Oh, sure nope. Still too that. close. How about right here? Here we go. I think this is going to be it. Yeah. Almost there. Can't let him down. That's how you do it, I suppose. Take back some territory. I'm beat. I should rest soon. I'd yeah. really appreciate some help getting back home. Sure thing, kid. We're bringing back America one plague heart at a time. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna run out of room here. All these play clock samples. Right now it's not too bad, but pretty soon it's gonna get worse. So just so you guys know, I'm playing with I think I think two mods. One is obviously where you can change the names of the, the characters and stuff like that. And the other mod is just the um, more storage in the trucks and cars. Everything else is irregular. Now we also are playing on... Um, I forget what it's called now. What a pile of crap. It's the next level beyond the normal difficulty. So they will get more intense as we as we move forward. I can't carry that much. No, I can't carry that much. Come on, Daryl. Glenn, take some oh, of this stuff hey. for me. Dear, uh, Glenn's fighting an infection at four percent. Take all this for me, Glenn. Let me finish searching this place. Need all the resources we can get right now. So, I plan on turning these two characters into Laura and Shane. Because I, as if you guys remember, 
Laura was with Shane for the first couple of episodes, if I recall. No more deadheads around here. No more deadheads. No more redheads. So who knows what they were doing prior to our arrival. And you know Shane. He was probably banging Laura the whole time. Come on, Glenn. What are you doing standing there? Damn, we should have hit this place a while ago. Glenn says, I want to stay here for a while, guys. Just leave me. I need time to think. All right, Glenn, we'll leave you. You got time to think. Things over. You want to stay with our crew or not? That's what he's going to be thinking about. He might, he might want to leave our crew. There he is. Goodbye, Glenn. Hopefully this isn't goodbye forever. I'm gonna miss him all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. All right. Okay. Now Daryl, Daryl doesn't cry. Daryl's a tough guy. So who, who are you guys' favorite uh, characters in Walking Dead? Of course, obviously mine is Daryl and Rick. What's up? What's up, B? I mean, okay then. Hook up. Bye bye. By taking out that play cart, he really showed us what you're made of. Oh yeah. You should see what I'm made We're of. Very impressed I'm by, up by my what pants. you've done here. We'd like to visit your base and talk about the future. Sure. You come back and visit me in time. I got. I got to. All gotta, right. Lead the way. I got. I'm right behind you. Don't be right behind me. Glenn Glenn came back, he decided to join us. I'm so happy, got it, got it, got it, your back. Wait, oh, I need that. I gotta get this, the example. Pardon me. You guys didn't have to get out of the car though, you could have stayed in there. Just have to grab this thing right here. Let's go. Not drop. Finally clearing out one of those play carts is a big first step. Laura! That's Rick. He's saying, Laura! Where's Carl? Oh, Carl's dead. Carl's dead. Carl's dead. Shane, what are you doing? You try to secure this town without backup? We're going to regret it. That's right, Morgan. I say we ask them what they want to do. What do you guys want to do? Future Laura. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. Come on in. Laura and Shane. Good call. I think this will work out well. Shane it looks Walsh. like you're a bit short on bunks, though. It's really no big deal. We can handle it. Is Shane gonna oh, get jealous? Just like camping, without a tent, and with zombies instead of raccoons. I love you guys. Bye bye. 